Good morning! It is 7.30 and Ivy just woke up 30 minutes ago and I just finished feeding her. But we thought it would be fun to go through our morning routine with a new 8 month old today to show everybody what we do. Every day is different because we worked yesterday so we were up early and out for work. But today um, I don't work until the afternoon so it is a chill day at home. We'll show you what we do, huh? <laughs> She's doing this cheesy grin all the time lately, and it's so cute. Can you wave? Can you say hi? She's like, no. <laughs> After she eats, I let her play for a little bit while I get ready. We have this, like, baby pen now instead of her jumper because she started to hate her jumper. So if I need to go to the bathroom or something, and I know I'm gonna be a couple minutes. I put her in here and zip it up and let her play in there. But when I'm just getting ready and the door is open, I'll let her play out here. And we finally got a baby gate. We had just been putting like these things in front of this area and she was trying to crawl over them. So now she is safe, but she still tries to crawl under our coffee table and bangs her head constantly. So we still have some childproofing to do. Huh, and she just got this pop-up toy and she's so good with it. Yesterday, she accidentally got her sleeves stuck under it, and she was, like, whining, and we weren't sure why, and she just looked up, and she said, hey, I'm stuck. <laughs> also, don't mind my, like, disgusting mirror, and it's so small, but look at this set that I got. It was off of Amazon on, like, a deal day or something a couple months ago, and it is, like, a cropped hoodie, which no one really wants to see my belly these days, but... I feel like since the pants are high enough, I'm not even going to bother wearing a tank top underneath. They're a little big because people said they like ran short. So I got extra large, but they're like too big. But they're so comfy and actually pretty cute. I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. And so I think I need to get more because it's more like put together, but at the same time, so cozy. And it's just cute. I probably look bad from the front. I need to lose some weight, <laughs> but I think it's cute. I like it. This is also my natural hair, and I can't get over how good it looks today. Like, the curls are cute, but most days it's just frizzy. So, like, why can't I do this every day? I need like a curl routine because it's definitely supposed to be naturally curly, but it does other things most of the time. So, I have no idea why. Some mornings it just looks crazy and I'm gonna try to brush it, but maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know, but it's kind of cute. Are you trying to break out? She's so cute independently playing. I love it. I came out and she was like talking to herself playing with these toys over here. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I love you so much. <laughs> are you ready for breakfast? Oh, you're going to wave to the camera? Look at guys. She's so cute. With your new little wave. Hi. I love you. <laughs> I am currently making eggs for Ivy and I, and I'm going to mix it with some avocado. She's been eating, actually yesterday she had three meals. Huh, she's over here, just looking at me. Um, She had three solid meals. Obviously she drinks milk kind of whenever she wants throughout the day. Um, And when we're not leaving our house before 7 a.m., I wanna make sure she's eating like a bigger breakfast because when we have to leave and stuff, we just give her pouches when we're gone. But last night I gave her, I'll show you guys. I'm sure I'll do a video sometime soon as she eats more of everything she eats. But Aldi has these like sweet potato bite things. And they also have broccoli bites. They have spinach too, but I haven't really introduced her to spinach yet. So I'm going to wait a little bit on those. Um, so she ate, she didn't eat very much. She ate some of those last night. And then we introduced her to peanut butter and she doesn't have like any allergies. So she loves these peanut butter suns. She will gobble these up. These are like the only thing she will actually eat by herself. And then 
We were at Target the other day and we found a bunch of these like Good and Gather baby food pouches. And we usually get the ones from Aldi because they have like no bad ingredients added. They're literally just like the fruit. Um, but we were at Target and we saw the same thing. They're just fruit. They don't have any like corn syrup or any added crap in them, which is really good. I know I did a video showing you guys that I was making my own baby food and I might get back to that, but she's been super weird about eating from a spoon lately. Like she just uh, will take like three bites and then she's completely done. So I was just doing the pouches because she will like hold them and suck them up herself. And then I've been giving her foods that I can just put on her tray and she can eat herself. So I don't know if I'm kind of done with the puree like making and we're gonna just kind of transition more to solids. That's kind of what I want to do because she hasn't been as great about eating solids. And I know before we know it, she'll be one and she's needing solids and not just milk. So I'm trying to introduce her to a bunch of different things, but we've had eggs before and she hasn't had any reactions, which I know some kids can. So I'm pretty thankful that she has yet to have a reaction from anything she's eaten. I also made these muffins last night and they are so stinking good. That my mom made this recipe all the time when I was a kid and it is just chocolate cake mix, a can of pumpkin, and then I added chocolate chips and it's technically better for you than regular like cake mix if you like mix it with eggs and oil and stuff. So definitely try it out, healthier version. Like I said, I try to convince myself it's healthy. It's definitely not healthy, but they are so good and so moist and you really can't even taste the pumpkin. Our food is ready. She's holding it, but she still doesn't completely understand how to bring it to her mouth. So I also have a spoon in case she wants to eat it off a spoon, huh? Are you gonna eat your eggs? She just squishes them, but I guess this is all part of learning. <laughs> Can you eat them? And we have some water here because she's gotten so good at drinking out of a straw. Are you gonna eat breakfast with mama? Yeah, let's eat. Ah. Well, you guys, she won't eat it. I try to put it in her mouth. I try to get her to put it in her mouth and she freaks out. She just wants to play with it. But I guess that's the start. Why don't you want to eat it? You're so silly. Well, on the bright side, I got her to drink an applesauce pouch and drink some of her water. And I put the eggs and avocado in a container and I'm gonna to try to offer them again at lunch. Mm -hmm. huh, it's all about offering it. Even if you just play with it, at least you're getting used to it, huh? Cause we don't want you to be on pouches for the rest of your life. But say, mom, I'm only eight months old, I got time. Ivy's playing and listening to some nursery rhymes and I have to get all these dishes. I did some last night, but Garrett and I both got home after 5 p.m. And then I decided to make muffins and so we have tons of extra dishes. Usually we would take a morning walk, but I don't know if you could tell by outside, but it has been storming really bad since last night. It's not as bad now, but it's just still raining. So no morning walk. I figure soon we probably won't be able to take as many walks, which kind of stinks, but hey, that means more Target trips, more Hobby Lobby trips, more mall trips. So I'm fine with that. And if I didn't work later today, I probably would take her. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh, dang it, she moved. She was laying down. But she's listened to the alphabet while I do some dishes. All of these dishes are done and all the counters are clean. So now it is time to go play on the ground with her until probably her next nap, which is, what time is it? It's almost nine o'clock, so it'll probably be in about an hour. I also wanted to show you guys my lineup of morning vitamins that I take literally every single day. I still take a prenatal. No, I'm not pregnant, but when you are breastfeeding, you are supposed to continue taking your prenatal vitamins. I guess you could try to find postnatal ones. I've just taken the same ones that I took since I found out I was pregnant. All of this is the nature's made, so I think they're, they're my favorite. They don't have like any added junk and stuff, so I take one of those every morning. I take vitamin C, which has helped me pretty much not get sick. The only time I've gotten sick since having Ivy eight months ago was when I ran out of these. So I take these every single morning. And then I take magnesium for a bunch of different reasons. It's supposed to help your mood, help with depression, help with, um, breastfeeding apparently it's supposed to help your milk supply it can help your cycle all these things so I make sure I take that and I used to take what was it vitamin 
super beer or something like that i don't take that anymore because there's some in here and i don't want to take like too many things while i'm nursing ivy but i take these every single morning and if i forget i'm definitely noticing and i feel like it has definitely helped improve my health and while i was doing all of that she cut every single toy out huh oh careful and she loves pulling up on that thing which always scares me <laughs> are you ready to play with mama such a big girl now. I can't believe how big you've gotten. What happened to my baby? <laughs> hey, girl. Just two girls chilling out. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you hugging mama? <laughs> You're so cute. It is 9.40 and I just laid her down for her first nap. She's pretty much asleep. I rock her for a few minutes and then I put her down. I really need to get better at just putting her down so that anyone can put her down, but I love rocking her because she just like cuddles me and it's so sweet, but oh, her eyes are a little bit open. She should be falling asleep soon. So that was a two and a half hour wake time. Sometimes she'll go like three hours or even three and a half hours, but lately I don't know if it's like the weather or if it's just she's tired, but with her morning nap, she's only been going like two and a half hours so hopefully it's a good nap and i'm probably gonna pump i usually pump like once in the morning i've kind of cut, like started to cut it out but if i'm home i usually do pump especially because i'm working later so she'll need a bottle and then i just get stuff done around the house did i say that right get stuff done around the house yeah <laughs> until she wakes up miss ivy just woke up from a little over an hour nap about an hour and 15 minutes and I think she would have slept longer, but she woke up with this stinky butt. Huh. A stinky tushy. <laughs> and now we're going to play. It actually is looking, I have to check the weather. It's looking like it's clearing up. So maybe we'll have to take a walk. But it's about 11 o'clock now. So only a little bit longer till lunch. How cute is she in this hat? Got her bundled up and we're gonna go on a little walk. She does have gloves that match the hat, but I don't think she needed it right now. It's about 50 degrees and we're just gonna take a quick little walk before it starts raining again. And as I say that, it kind of starts raining again. So maybe we will not be waiting for a walk. <laughs> well, it stopped raining for a second. So we took the speediest walk around the cul-de-sac and now it's starting to hail a little bit. So we're going back inside but I wanted to get a little fresh air because we haven't gotten fresh air in days, huh? And she was warm. <laughs> we just finished lunch and she actually ate quite a bit of the eggs and avocado that I offered her for breakfast that she didn't want. And she also drank a lot of her water. So I don't know if she wasn't hungry earlier or maybe for breakfast I should just offer purees and then for lunch I should oh, offer no, like no. actual food. I don't know. We'll try it again tomorrow and see what happens. Oh, but she, okay. That hurts, but she did pretty good. I have to pretty much feed her. She'll pick up the eggs and the avocado, but she can't like bring them to her mouth. I don't understand why. Every single toy she plays with, it's straight to her mouth. I don't know if it's because she's trying to figure out the texture or there's a couple foods that she's brought to her mouth before and she doesn't understand that she needs to like put it in her mouth and then take her hand away. So I don't know if that's what it is, but we'll keep trying. <laughs> You're so cute. This cheesy grin. Well, now that it's afternoon, we'll end our morning routine here. Da, da, da. So that's pretty much what we do on a morning that we're home. Obviously, if we're gone, if we have to work and stuff, it's a lot different. But on a morning that we're home, that is what our routine kind of looks like. Pretty much the same every day, unless we decide to go somewhere. See? Bye vlog! See you next week! Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!